Welcome to a day in the life of a girl who is chasing her dreams. Hi everyone, my name is Carla Yoro and I am the owner of Delicate, a online jewelry boutique and we are dreaming big around here, hoping that one day this will be a brick and mortar store that you guys can come and visit. But of course, we will always keep our online component for all of you who have shopped with me. So thank you for all those of you who shop. So today there is going to be a market and I'm gonna bring you along for the entire day because it's so exciting to get to live out my dream. And if you are new around here, Delicate came out of or was born out of a situation with my husband where he needed a kidney transplant and almost lost his life to COVID back in 2021. He actually needed to go on an artificial lung and had multiple surgeries everything because of COVID. And you can go back and watch my channel. I vlogged most of our story. But in this vlog, I'm gonna bring you along for my market because Delicate, the name comes from how I felt when Daniel was at his worst. He was extremely ill and my mental health was crappers. So I felt delicate, like just if someone said something wrong to me that it would just be the straw that broke the camel's back, and that would be the end of me. But I have learned through this process that I am stronger than I look, and it's not because of me, but because of the God that I serve. My faith in Christ has been a huge, huge reason that I feel I've been able to survive all of this stuff. The strength really comes from God. And then I have also this amazing husband. Look at his cuteness, just setting up curtains for me because he is six feet tall and I am five two and we can't do all that. But anyways, join me for a day at the market and let's roll the vlog. Hi friends. I don't even think my hat looks right, but it's been a very busy morning. I am running about 15 minutes behind. We're about to get there in about two minutes. Had to go back for my iPad because I left this and this is literally how I check people out. So I'm a bit of a mess right now. I'm really hungry. I got me a chocolate croissant from Starbucks. Oh, they didn't warm it up. Where did this? Okay, they got cold. I'm really, really late. Um, I meant to like style my hair a little more. I washed it this morning. I literally just threw it on a ponytail, threw my hat on, called it a day. I, <laughs> I feel so, if you can't tell yet, I feel so razzled, not razzled, 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 dazzled. Razzle -dazzle. I feel so frazzled, like, and then I also have my little strawberry acai refresher, which they, oh gosh, they made it super pink today. I'm so excited. Yeah, they didn't skim on that. They did not skim on that. Light eyes. Wow, good job. Good job, Starbucks. Um, we're on our way to the Winter Haven Saturday Market. This is a market that I do every other week. Um, sometimes I don't do it at all and I'll skip a couple weeks if I have a lot of things going on at church but yeah we're gonna be do we did it two weeks ago we're doing it again today I'm taking a break in March and I'm coming back for April and May I believe so if you don't know I sell Goldfield jewelry I make jewelry that is faith-based has a meaning behind it um, today I am modeling some of it right now so yeah just super excited to sell jewelry today hang out with people which is one of my favorite things the reason that I do this it's just a way for me to tell my story and how my husband Daniel survived COVID and multi-organ failure did you show, show the camera yeah did you, did you show me on the camera yeah <laughs> hey no you look great honey you look great I have a whole pink outfit on today I'll show you guys later when we get there but I'm gonna try to eat this super quick because we are literally two minutes away from the downtown of our city. And then it's like set a time, go, go, go. Market starts at nine. It is 7.47 right now. So I'm giving myself roughly about an hour. They usually like us to be like there and kind of, you know, very ready to go around eight. So I'm cutting it very close for when I'm starting my setup. But yeah, it was just a really crazy morning. It's been a crazy week with like work and church commitments and all these things. So I'm just happy we made it. We are super full back here. And we also got stuff on the bed of the truck. So we are ready for a full market day. Follow along and I'm gonna show you today how I share our story through our markets. 
and that is something that is very very important to me sharing our story and sharing my faith and I don't do it in like in your face kind of way here have a tract because I don't think people are one super receptive to that and two it's a market people want to have fun but it's just nice for me to you know share bits of my story there are people who ask and so I share it when people ask and yeah I'm just excited for how today is gonna go so watch the full video to see how we share our story in a kind loving way in these markets we just made it and there's already a few vendors that are like set up so I'm like I hate it I'm always so behind when I come to these things because I always forget a couple things 217 217 our spot is 217 which is right here across the street we found a parking spot right where we need it so Daniel's gonna start getting the heavy things unloaded and I'm gonna start the setup. All right, y'all, before the customers start coming in, I'm gonna give you a little booth tour. We have two tables and I kind of put them in this shape to give people space to come in through here. So I quickly realized that this was going to have to be a voiceover. It's just very hard with all the noise and music for you guys to be able to hear me. So this is what the final booth setup looked like. I always feel like it's so hard for me to get my jewelry and everything to look organized. So y'all let me know if everything looks organized because watching it back on camera, I just wish things looked more organized. Someone gave me a really cool, on my last video, a really cool comment to make sure that I label things because the mirrors, um, she said it just kind of looked like it was for people to try jewelry on, not to purchase them. So I definitely brought little little chalkboard signs to this market and created little labels for everything. So I am trying to be better about that. Just can't assume that people know that the mirrors are for sale. I also added this cute little disco ball that I bought on Amazon. I will link it down below. It's the cutest thing. And my goal was to hang it from the middle of the tent. And then we just honestly were running a little bit behind. And so I just hung it there and I ended up liking it. And maybe for my next market, Market, I'll try to hang it from the middle of the tent. I just couldn't find a good spot for it. Like the thing in the middle of the tent wasn't really conducive to hanging something on it. So we'll find a better way. I think I need to buy like some fishing line that's invisible. Anyways, this is what the two tables put together looked like. And then Dan always likes to sit behind. He says he feels like he ruins the aesthetic of the tent. I'm like, come on, just come sit next to me. But he actually likes to be out in the sun. And if you know someone who's been a dialysis patient, they get really, really cold. So he just enjoys being out in the sun and the heat. And this is what the market looks like. It's actually in the downtown park of our city where we live in, in Winter Haven, Florida. And it is the cutest little downtown area. And y'all, these people probably have my favorite setup. They were a farmer stand and look how cute this is like their car their setup everything is super cute it's like you walk in and feel like you were in a grocery store it was adorable they I mean I don't even know how they had a fridge and everything it was just like a really cool setup I ended up buying some strawberries and candied nuts from them everything was so delicious and tasted so fresh they had like homemade yeah uh jams and yams gosh that's not yams it's jams and I just had to show you because I just thought their setup was so extremely and totally creative and I just love stuff like that and then I came back I just every time I go look around the market I always have to buy something and yeah Dan was like are you serious but yeah to a farm stand Dan does not know what I bought that thing is bright you went to a farm stand and what and you don't know what I bought yeah I have no idea so the first thing I got could these these strawberries look are you are you uh, kidding me right now Michelle they're cold it's a snack okay. healthy snack ish right? right people say fruit or batman and glazed almonds you're welcome oh yes they don't look super sugary but they're cute I'm gonna tear those up they have farm fresh eggs which I low key want to get <laughs> That's all. Okay. <laughs> oh, what are your reaction? Because I know you like Yes, these. I'm really excited about them. So we're fully set up and I'm just getting 
some breakfast in Miami. There's little strawberries. I saw half my chocolate croissant. And that's what I'm trying to finish my thing. I didn't realize that it's was pretty slow right now. I had a few people stop by, but no sales. The market is up and say, you know just what starting. It's always very slow in the morning. <laughs> my time to get a drink in <laughs> and yeah. chill for a little bit before it gets busy. Hmm. I don't think I've mentioned yet, but today is a Valentine's Day market. So hopefully it'll be a nice crowd today. Hi, how are you? I am good. I mean, if you have questions, but everything is 18 to 24K gold filled. All right, so it's actually been pretty slow today compared to other markets. Um, it's still a good day. I've made one sale from a friend that's come by for the third time. So you know who you are. Thank you so much. Um, we still, it is... 12 18 so we still have like three more hours left and the weather has been perfect so i'm sitting here counting like business cards um and putting some orders in for my business like i have to get some earring cards made um which i make them out of business cards and getting videos edited and kind of entertaining myself and getting more footage and pictures of the tent and the display and yeah, just keeping myself busy. So, but at least I'm being productive today. So I'm organizing a couple of things right. online, yeah, getting videos edited, real shorts, right, TikToks. Right. Literally take like these business cards and that's what I print out and I turn these into earring cards. But I just print them out with this design. And what I'm going to do is make sure that on the back of the earring cards or necklace cards, whatever you call them, that it says gold filled because I want to get into wholesale um, and I think that'll be really important for people to know what material it is. Like here, I can just put signs that say that, but if I do wholesale and people will know what it is. So. Okay, so this is what I did with my business card. So I created like a front and the back i can't even tell if you can see that hopefully you can so we're going to put this order in and i think for 50 of these it's only 15 dollars. so i use canva i'll link down below the website I, i'm not sponsored but they literally have the best prices for printing and it gets to my house usually in about a week so they're pretty predictable in that sense as well hi how are you i am good just so you know, everything is 18 to 24K gold fill. You're welcome. This market challenged my positivity. I'm actually sitting here telling Daniel about the whole Taylor Swift drama. I really don't listen to her music or anything like that, but like I have been following this whole Travis Kelsey thing and I was just literally explaining Taylor Swift to my husband. <laughs> this was hilarious, but I was struggling to stay positive with this market because it was slow. I mean, the slowest I've ever seen it, but I will say I actually made more sales than I did at another market that was actually really, really, really hot, a really hot day, and I barely made any sales. I actually doubled those sales with this market than that market. So I, it was a win. It was actually a pretty good market. I made my usual amount of sales, but it was slower than I wanted it to be, especially with all the updates that I have made to the display. But I really challenged myself to look at the upside. My sister came and visited me and hung out. And, you know, that's really what it's all about, just to have some fun and spend time together. All right, we're going to start packing up in just a minute. But I've made a couple more sales in the last hour, which is nice. So I did get to my goal today, which is around, around 150 So that's exciting. But I am going to slowly start putting some boxes together and getting ready to pack up because the market will be done in about 10 minutes. Um. All right, it's pack up time, but I'm so excited because I just bought a focaccia bread from this husband and wife duo and their family who make baked goods. And it looks so, good. so we've been using curtains and putting them on these bungee cords 
and we're actually gonna pack them up just like that because we did it for the first time last week and we packed them up like we pulled them off the bungee cord folded them and put the bungee cord somewhere else yeah we're not doing that this time because it made it really really time consuming to get these curtains up again today having to thread the bungee cord through the curtain again so today we're gonna pack it all up together and this was a little bit of a disaster i thought i got these mesh lights i got the big size i don't know what i did i got two of these and obviously they were not big enough so i don't want to spend money and buy more because you know it's tax season and we got to pay our business taxes so i'm probably gonna leave them on there for now they're zip tied in their spots but i really want to get into night markets and these are actually like rectangular so it's just the shape was off too so i think what i'm gonna do is just one there one there and we'll do that but this disco ball was also supposed to be hung up from the middle and that did not end up happening either because we couldn't quite reach that up there and it didn't hang perfectly but it looks super cute hanging here in our checkout counter but we're gonna go ahead and break this all down the sun hit it and it was just like so pretty look at that I just love that <laughs> um but yeah that looked super cute there so but yeah we're breaking everything down daniel's working on breaking everything down i think he might be getting a cold because he's not feeling great <laughs> but he sat there in the shade the whole day this is my dining room chair from home that worked great there too to be able to sit up and be able to talk to people have my mess of stuff my purse and my tripods and everything in there overall it was such a beautiful day at the market but now it is time to go home i always find it so funny how we start off the day with this huge tent and tons of tables and stuff everywhere and then by the end of the day you pack everything up and you're like wow that's really not that much. I just find that so funny. Literally almost everything fits on this cart. My three totes, my chair, our folding chair anyways, and the shelf for the checkout counter. Everything fits right there in just that tiny little cart, which I'm actually thinking of getting another one. But it was a really good day overall. The weather was beautiful, but it was a very slow market. So I think from now on, I'm taking January off like the entire month for getting ready for the new year. That'll be what I'm going to do for next year. But this is my first year with my business, my first time ever doing markets in January. So for sure, this will definitely be something I will change for next year. It's just too slow in January, but hey, you live and you learn. And overall, it was still a great day. I honestly think I need to purchase two cards because the height of all the stuff on this cart is as tall as me. <sighs> Even though our truck is parked like right over there or over there, it's right there. It's not that far, but <sighs> genuinely, I am exhausted, like extremely exhausted. You got it? I was going to carry stuff. The jewelry's heavy, it won't fall. Do you think this will fall? Is that what you're worried about? No, I was worried about, I'm worried about the jewelry. Let's go. The level of disheveled that I am right now <sighs> should not even be legal. Why? Ooh, Daniel's side is on a heater. No, 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 no. Guys, it is 85 degrees outside. I'm back in the car. I actually just went shopping. I will show you guys what I got when I went home, when I get home. So I went into this cute little pink boutique kind of looking shop that is right across the street from the downtown park where I was at. And I just walked in and was like, let me just check this store out because I love boutiques and my dream is to own one. So I always love to go in and like support if I can. So, but usually boutiques are more pricey. Well, obviously because they're independently owned and they have to source everything themselves. So I was kind of ready for everything to be like super expensive, but I was very happy, very surprised to walk in there and 
they're having a 50% off sale. The, um, I think she's the owner. Uh, when I walked in, just a young woman, she looks like just about my age, so that was really cool and inspiring. So when I walked in, um, she's telling me, oh, you know, we're, she's kind of telling customers, hey, we are closing our doors for a couple of weeks because we are going to be rebranding and we're gonna get a ton of new stuff in. And she's basically telling customers that, and you know, I was like, ooh, that's cool. So they're having a 50% off sale. So I'm like, let me look around. Maybe I can afford something. And I just bought me like a pink, it's called the pink power suit. How cute is that? It's 25, it came out to $25 because it was on, then it was just using the bathroom. I went shopping. No, yeah. I, I, How cute is this packaging? Mm -hmm. So then she, you know, she's like, oh, cause she sees my t-shirt and everything and she, by the way, I messed up the clothes. I got a little stain on it. You buying it? I bought a pink suit. How freaking cute is this? And it came with the pants and it came out to $25. That is a great, great price. I love, I love pants that have a stretchy waistband because your homegirl likes to be comfy. And it's like this knit material it's not like a polyester-y material so it feels really nice really light like i can layer underneath it and i am so excited to wear it tomorrow i feel like i need a white or beigey top to wear underneath it i don't know that i have one anyway she starts asking me about she's like oh you have a business where you're selling out in the market and then i start telling her oh yeah i do i have a gold filled business and i kind of showed her my jewelry a little bit so that was just like a really cool moment and i felt so proud of myself it was like i did the thing that i've been wanting to do for weeks and it happened super organically i bought something from her because at the same time i wanted to support but i was already going to buy that anyways because that was super cute and it matches my pink obsession so i don't know that filled my heart that made me happy um you know and i gave her my business card i'm so happy that i carry some of those in my wallet my here have my business card and then she saw me with the camera so i told her about my youtube channel and it was just a really nice interaction so if she watches this thank you you're very kind and her store was so cute i really loved her store i just i'm obsessed with boutiques and you know decorating and putting out merchandise and everything in boutiques is usually you know a lot more trendy and unique than if you go to like a regular big name brand store so anyways today was a good day we didn't make as much revenue as i would have liked the market was pretty slow but we made it to around 150 dollars which is totally fine with me that is money that i am able to put back into my business anyways i am so excited to keep working on this business how did you feel about today dan really really slow but you still sold well which that never is not the case so i'm happy yeah can't ask for more than that i'm really excited about where delicate by carla is going thank you for joining the journey and i will see you guys next friday mm -hmm.